This question is taken from the physics model paper 1 of 2024-25. Question number 45. An equilateral prism is made of glass of unknown refractive index. A parallel beam of light is incident on the face of the prism. The angle of minimum deviation is 40 degree. Find the refractive index of the material of the prism. If the prism is placed in water of refractive index 1.33, find the new angle of minimum deviation of a parallel beam of light. Given we have an equilateral prism that is made up of glass and uh, when a parallel beam of light is incident on this prism, the angle of minimum deviation made is 40 degree. So, angle of minimum deviation D equal to 40 degree and since this is an equilateral prism, the angle A is 60 degree. We need to find the refractive index of the material of the prism. We know that refractive and index of the prism n equal to sin a plus d by 2 divided by sin a by 2. This is the standard formula. Now here we are finding the refractive index of the prism with respect to air. So refractive index of glass with respect to refractive index of air. We know that refractive index of air is 1. So we can write this as ng that is refractive index of glass because Refractive index of glass divided by 1 is refractive index of glass. So, equal to sine of A is 60, D is 40, 60 plus 40 divided by 2 divided by sine A by 2 that is 60 by 2. So, here we get sine 30, sine 30 we can write directly as half and this sine 50 we need to find using the log book. To find sine 50 we need to use the log book. So, in the natural science page of logbook, we need to search for the uh, sine 50, that is 50, 50 and 0 degree, that is 0 0.7660. So, the value of sine 50 is 0 0.7660. So, refractive index of glass is 2 sine 50 or refractive index of glass is 1.532. There is a sub question here. If the prism is placed in water of refractive index 1.33, find the new angle of minimum deviation of parallel beam of light. Now, the, this prism is placed inside water. Here, in the first question, the prism was in air. Now, we are placing the prism in water. They have given the refractive index of water that is 1.33. We know the refractive index of the prism that is 1.532. We need to find the refractive index of the prism with respect to water now. That is N2 by N1 is Ng by Nw. That is your N will become as Ng by Nw. That is we are finding the refractive index of the prism with respect to water. We use the same formula here. N equal to sin A plus D by 2 divided by sin A by 2. Your, your D, D will become D dash. And your N is refractive index of glass with respect to water. We know the values of Ng, Nw. A, we need to find the value of D dash. So, on solving this, we get 1.151 equal to sin 60 plus D dash by 2 divided by sin 30. We know that sin 30 is nothing but half. So, we get 1.151 equal to 2 sin 60 plus D dash by 2. This 2, I will bring it down. So, 1.151 by 2 equal to sin 60 plus d dash by 2. Or on dividing this, we get 0 0.5755 equal to sin 60 plus d dash divided by 2. On bringing this sin to LHS, we have sin inverse of 0 0.5755 equal to 60 plus d dash by 2. We need to find this value using the log book. To find the value of sine inverse of 0 0.5755, we need to go to the natural science page of the logbook and there search for the number 0 0.5755. Here we can see that the nearest value to 0 0.5755 is 0 0.5750. So we can consider this and take the value as 35, 35.1 degree. So, the sine inverse of 0 0.5755 is 35.1 degree.
we get 35.1 degree equal to 60 plus d dash by 2. This 2 again will bring it to LHS 2 into 35.1 degree equal to 60 plus d or 70.2 degree equal to 60 plus d dash or d dash equal to 70.2 degree minus 60. So, we get the angle of deviation the new angle of deviation d dash equal to 10.2 degree when the prism is immersed in water. So, answer is 10.2 degree. If you find this video helpful, please don't forget to subscribe.